to my gym again for another special unboxing video video it's been a while since I've done one and here's the reason why I wanted to do an unboxing for something that a lot of us tend to use during the spring and summertime and it's a real good good tool if you are a health nut or athletic somebody who's concerned about their health and one that wants to be very specific about it and here's the reason why I know springtime a lot of people are trying to <coughs> excuse me lose weight for the spring and sometimes get their beach body going on and here's the problem with it the idea of just losing weight to get in shape and look good for the beach and all that is not the right way to go. It's a flaw of thinking because you're wanting to measure you're you're wa wanting to measure how much you weigh, but you don't know what the weight's coming from. If you've watched any of my videos, you've heard me talk about what are weight in the body and how important it is. You've heard me talk about nutrition and muscle mass. See, and remember, all those things weigh, thing, weigh and make up our body weight. Just like for me personally, when spring rolls around, I start holding more water weight because I'm so active outside, biking all that, biking, hiking, walking. Used to be running outside, but not so much running outside. And see, and the reason why, because my body holds that water weight to keep me hydrated and keep my muscles from cramping up while I'm out biking in 80, 90, 100 plus degree temperatures. So monitoring my weight isn't necessarily the best indicator of my health or what the weight is. Now for people who are athletic and go to the gym, they know it's important to know what your body fat percentage is and don't get all freaked out now because different ages and different sexes have different body fat requirements and not all body fat is bad you have to understand your body needs a certain amount of body fat to function because a, a lot of minerals and vitamins are what they call fat soluble so you need fat in your diet you need body fat to help digest those vitamins if you get too low it can cause some health health issues like for women if, if their body fat gets too low it'll mess up their menstrual cycle so you need some body fat and this video, unboxing video, is about the tools we can use to check our body fat, to know what the weight is, to know whether or not the weight is muscle, the weight is water, the weight is fat, how much of it's fat. Now, there are a couple ways you can do this. The most accurate way to check your body fat these days is called the DEXA system. Now, this is a professional x-ray imaging process where the x-rays measures the bone density because you have to understand a lot of our body weight is made up of our bones in our body and for some people they have denser bones like uh, people who jump a lot whether it's jump roping or jumping in, in sports that tends to make your bone density thicker and heavier so obviously the more dense your bone is, the stronger your bones are, the more they're going to weigh. So that's why 
the DEXA, and I say DEXA is DXA system, the dual imaging X ray system is the most accurate. The next is more of a hydrostatic weighing. It's kind of hard to explain what that is, and I'm not really going to get into it because a lot of people can't afford to do it. Then there's the third best is the uh, air dysmatic or air displacement. I can't even say it. The, word, the term we use is bod pod. Basically, you put your body in like a chamber and then you decompress it to see what the body is composed of. Again, those first three are more professional athletes and fitness, like bodybuilders, use it. Most of us don't have the money to constantly go and have those tests done. But aside from those tests, there are others like more common is like the skin fold caliper and basically what that does is I don't have one but it looks like a little pinching machine and your your pinch you, the skin folds I think it's between your belly button and your hip you pinch to see it and it'll measure that skin fold to see how much it's fat and then you'll piss you'll pinch on your inner thigh and you, you can use all those measurements and put it into a certain formula to calculate your body fat. Now that's somewhat real old school way. Then another way that they've come out with in years in the past, and I, and I do it myself, is a weight scale that checks your body fat. And I actually have mine right here. This is mine. I keep mine in my bathroom. And this is a good tool. I need to emphasize it's not as accurate as the as the top three, but it's a good like tool to kind of like get a measurement, an idea of where your body fat may be at. And for this, you have to put in your age and your height. So the computer that's in this, when it does this thing, can check. where you should be. And what I like about this one is this one also tells me how much water my body is holding. I've had this for a good 15, 20 years. You can get them now for about $50, $60. Now I keep that in my bathroom and here's why. Because the most accurate way to, to weigh yourself is when in the, you're naked and before you've eaten anything. So usually my day, my weigh-in days, Friday is the last day of the week after I've been working out all week. First thing I do, get up in the morning, I go to the bathroom before I eat anything, before I drink any water, is, is weigh myself. And here's why. Why? Because the way the scale works, it sends like a tiny electronic impulse through these little sensors. And I'll see if I can hold up and show you. There's a sensor here, there's one here, here, here. And the computer inside of it measures the time it takes to get for the to get it a response back from those electronic pulses. And that's how it calculates what your body fat is. And it's not incredibly accurate, but it's a good guide. But if you drink water or any fluid or eat, it can throw that response time for the electronic pulse off you know you, we all know water is a great conductor of electricity so if you drink water the more water you're holding it's going to make this even less accurate now you can use it to trick it and make you look like your body fat's lower than it really is but you're just deceiving yourself so that's why ideally you want to do it when you haven't had anything to eat or drink for a few hours before you check it and if you know me, I drink a lot of water, average of a gallon of water a day. So I've got a lot of water in me that can throw that off. And I've got a lot of my body's going to hold that water, especially this time of year that could throw that off. So ideal when I ideally when I first wake up in the morning on Friday, I'm going on there. Another way you can do it, and this is why a lot of gyms have 
and it, it's similar to the body fat scale and that is what let's see I got mine in hand this is an, another reason why it took me so long to do this video is because I had to wait this for this to get here from Japan you know you can get you can go on Amazon and try and get one of what I'm about to show you but you're gonna pay like an outrageous amount of money like three four hundred dollars to get it just because of the pandemic I think with parts and all that but I actually found mine on Amazon so you let's jump in let me see what it is. let me open let's see Here's the box open it up up now since I got it on Amazon I had to get it ooh. Pay attention to what I'm doing. I'm gonna cut my hand up. There we go. But since I got mine on Amazon, I had to get it used, which I don't care. As long as it works and it's clean, here it is. They got it wrapped pretty good in bubble wrap to keep it from getting broke. Don't need the box anymore. So let's see. Let me turn on a light here. I don't know how it's taped up in here. So I don't want to mm, get some scissors over here, cut some of this tape. Whoever sent it to me, did they did a real good job. I mean, it just got layer after layer of bubble wrap. And what this is basically called, it's called, I'm getting to it now. Let me turn the light back off. This is a handheld version of the scale. Now this doesn't take your weight like the scale, so you'll have to know your weight in advance. So for me, since I get my scale at home in my, in my bathroom, I can do my scale that way. I think I'm getting to the bottom of this bubble wrap, and this is, this is yeah. The reason why I bought this is because my local gym where I worked out for years, theirs was transferred to, taken to another gym that had more activity and more members so they can use. So I decided to buy my own. The problem is with due to pandemic, I couldn't get it. So this is it. Let me see if I can get up at this. No, we'll go to that. As you see, it's got the sensors on the side, which are basically what's on the scale. And it comes with a little direction on top, which I know how to use them because I've used them for years. And what I'll do, what you do, is I'll put my age and my weight into this. I think I put my, put, I may, I think I may put my height into this. It's been so many years that I've done this into this. And then again, just like with the scale, you can't have anything to eat or drink for like. A couple of hours before you do this I usually use this about two hours after I've had anything to eat or drink and trust me that is hard because I'm thirsty and I'm hungry and how it works is you will stand up hold your arms out like this you want to keep your feet shoulder width apart stand there and then you you press the button and it'll, it'll send the pulse through here and it'll go around the other side. Now, this again is not 100% accurate as the top three, as the DEXA or the BOD pod or the hydrostatic weighing, but it's, it's kind of a good indicator of where you're at. Now, a lot of people are like, oh, well, I've been looking, I can see where I got fat at. Not necessarily. You don't know if, it's, if you're bloated gas you don't know if you're holding water weight but with these it gives you a better indicator of what's how much body fat you have and another thing is a lot like a lot of um a lot of uh the military branches they want to know what the weight is also so they have their own they use a the BMI system, the body mass index. But the problem with the body mass index is it goes by your weight. And if you put the weight in there, if it, it, 
but you don't know what the weight is, whether it's muscle mass, fat, or water weight, the BMI can't be that accurate. Now, I actually have a army issued BMI calendar that my mentor gave me mm, probably 10 years ago. And this is it. I think if I can turn around, you can see the, the army logo on it, be strong. And see how this work is along the bottom, it has the weight. And then on the little dial hill here is a height. And there's an arrow on the dial. And if you, you line the arrow up with the weight for your height, that it, it'll show on the other side whether or not of the dial, whether or not you're high on the BMI scale for your height and age or low. But again, if you don't know if the weight is fat, water, or muscle mass, because remember, muscle weighs, a pound of muscle weighs more or is more dense than a pound of fat. If you ever go to the gym, you can see that they'll have like a, a pound of fat is like this, like an open fist, where a pound of muscle may be, it's more compact, more dense. So ideally you'd rather have more compact weight, which is muscle. But the BMI system does not let you see that. So what I will do is I got my batteries here. I'll put them in my body fat or in my handheld body fat analyzer. And I'll keep that probably here in my in my home office, I, I've got a whole corner with nothing but exercise stuff. And I'll probably keep that in here and I can use that as a guide. And here's the thing. I cannot emphasize this enough. Don't don't stress out over your weight and don't obsess over weighing yourself every day because you're going to weigh less or more different times a day different times of the week. Like I said, I weigh more, I hold more water weight and gain weight during the spring and summertime because my body holds that water weight to keep me hydrated. And I know when women are on the menstrual cycle, they may hold more water weight too. So don't, don't obsess over it. There's no need to weigh yourself every single day because you're not going to lose fat overnight, despite what people may think. You're not even going to lose fat. You can go to the gym, do cardio for 15, 20 minutes. You're not going to burn a pound of fat off. You're going to have to burn 3,500 calories to burn one pound of fat off. You may sweat some water weight off, but you're not getting rid of the fat. Just like I went to the gym today before I jumped on here and I did 30 minutes on a stationary bike and I was going pretty fast, almost 17 miles an hour on that stationary bike. And I think you only burn like around 300, between 300 and 360 calories in 30 minutes. And that I was going hardcore. And if you get on a treadmill and you're walking, when I walk, three to three and a half mile an hour, I burn about 25 calories every quarter of a mile. So, and I'm walking fast. The average person walks between two and a half to three miles an hour. That's a normal speed. So there's no reason to get on a treadmill walk for one, two, maybe three miles an hour. You want to go faster. Not to burn calories, but to get your heart rate up. So that's, I'm excited about this. And that's all I want to share with y'all this week. So do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave comments about what you think. Maybe you might be wanting to get your summer, summer ballot ready. And this, very, this video may help you.
don't get upset at the weight loss. Ideally, ideally, you should leave, lose no more than one, two pound, one to two pounds per week. If you're losing more than that, you're probably losing just, just losing water weight. But you may even be losing muscle mass, which is kind of productive because what's going to, what's going to happen, you're going to lose that muscle mass. Your metabolism is going to slow down. Your muscles are going to atrophy. And you're going to be weaker. So you don't want to burn muscle mass. You want to keep, that's good weight you want to keep. And that's why I'm not a big fan of working out on an empty stomach. And I never work out first thing in the morning. One, I have no energy. Two, I don't want to burn muscle off. And this is a truth a lot of people don't realize. Your body will burn muscle mass before it burns body fat for energy. So the idea of working out on an empty stomach or first thing in the morning so you can burn more fat is flawed. It's called being anaerobic because when your body starts breaking down muscle to give you energy instead of fat. That's why you see a lot of people like, like if you see a lot of like endurance cyclists, whether it's watch, watch the Tour de France and notice how rail thin their arms and forearms are and how thin their legs are because their body is breaking down the muscles in their legs and their arms to keep them moving. So dehydrating yourself, getting rid of, to lose weight from water weight, trying to burn a few hundred, a few thousand calories without eating. Those are not ideal ways to lose weight. You want to burn fat. And here's the deal. You're not going to burn fat by just casually walking. Bad news. I mean, it doesn't work that way. I tell everybody, your heart is a muscle. Work it. Because the stronger your heart gets, the higher your metabolism will get, and the more calories you will burn throughout the day, you will actually increase your rest of metabolism more by getting your heart rate up into your target heart rate zone. By now, you've probably heard you've heard the terms max heart rate and target heart rate. Those are your goals for doing cardio. Ideally, you shouldn't go above, you should not go above your max heart rate. But if you're in, if you're in good shape, you can train yourself to go over like for me, for the last 10 years, I've, I have made it my goal to try to meet or beat my max heart rate. And here's the deal, the older you get, the lower your max heart rate should go. The formula is 220 minus your age, and that's what, what, what you have left. That's what your max heart rate should be, should be. Now, your target heart rate is that heart rate you have after you take your age from 220, multiply it by 85%, and that's where you should be trying to get your heart rate at. That's your target heart rate zone. And technically, if you're not hitting your heart rate there, by definition, you're not doing cardio. You're not getting the full benefits benefits of doing cardio, like making your heart stronger, increasing metabolism, lowering your risk for heart attacks, lowering your risk for strokes, lowering your risk for heart disease. So there are a lot more benefits from doing cardio than just burning car calories. You're going to make your heart stronger. You're going to improve your health. And the stronger your heart gets, your immune system is going to get stronger. Your metabolism is going to get stronger. A lot of people talk about, oh, well, the older you get, your metabolism slows down. It's a lie. Your metabolism doesn't slow down. People slow down. I know people in the gym that are in their 90s. Kid you not, there is a World War II veteran, veteran that comes to the gym and works out. A lot of times I'll be on the treadmill running. He'll be he'll be on a little exercise bike behind me. Going, dude is, I think a hundred years old now. They just had him on 
ABC World News for being one of the last survivors to see the um, German surrender in World War II. And he still goes to the gym and works out every day. Still going. He's not fat. He, 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 he's not a frail old man at over 100 years old. He's not frail. He's not big and muscle, muscle and bulky. Again, he's not going to the gym to get big and bulky. He's going there to keep his heart strong and stay active. Remember, a body in motion stays in motion. And I say all that because it's kind of hard to stay in motion if you have a lot of fat. One thing people, people don't realize is the more body fat you have on your body, the higher your body temperature is going to be because you're, all that fat works like insulation and it makes your body temperature go up. The, the lower your body fat, the lower your body temperature will be. My average body temperature is right around 97 to 97.8 degrees. When I start getting up to 98, a little bit more, I start feeling kind of crummy. So it is important to know what the weight is and it's important to work on getting your body fat low not losing weight the average human head with the brain weighs eight pounds if all you want to do is lose weight have somebody cut your head off you'll lose eight pounds instantly but you yeah you'll die but what do you care you just want to lose weight i know that sounds silly but i i, I try to give people that mental picture a lot to see why worrying about the weight isn't the issue. You need to know what the weight is. Another thing is your body naturally holds water in your muscles. That's why when you get dehydrated, you start cramping up because your muscles are dehydrated. That's what a cramp, that's what happens when you cramp up. That's why it's important to take in water before you exercise, not while you're exercising. I tell people, you know, do you put coolant in your radiator in your car while it's running? No, because then it's too late. You put it in before your car, you, you drive your car. If not, what happens? Your car overheats and you ruin your engine. You ruin the radiator, you ruin your engine. Put the fluid in your body before. Because as your body gets hot and you try to drink water, your body is not going to absorb the fluid fast enough. In fact, if your body gets too hot and you try to drink water or fluids, Gatorade, your body, just like a radiator that's hot, you will actually spit, spit the fluid back up because your body can't take it. But that is what I want to share with you all this week. Again, this is my new toy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the description for this video below to maybe Amazon where you can look at maybe if you want to buy one yourself. The good thing about Amazon as a, excuse me, as opposed to eBay, the good thing about eBay as opposed to Amazon is if you go on eBay, you can actually negotiate and get, get a little bit better price. I haven't been able to do that on Amazon yet. So I still use Amazon or eBay every now and then. Like this, I got like maybe for I think $6 cheaper than what, what the seller wanted on eBay. Which that doesn't sound like much, but coming from Japan, it costs more than that just for the shipping. But luckily, since it was coming from Japan, the seller gave us gave me free shipping. And you FedEx, I got it like in three days after you FedExed it. So I got the free shipping, like just like with Amazon. And then I was able to negotiate the price. So eBay was ready to go. So I'm going to put a link to one of these on eBay in the description in case you want to buy one. Now, some people are still trying to start. I've seen some of these on Amazon or on eBay for like $60, $70, $80. But if you want to just get a, get a used one like I did, 
unless you want the box and all that. See, I've used these for years, so I know what the box says and what the box looks like, so I didn't need it. But I was a, that's why I was able to get one without the box and get it cheaper. I think I paid around 40 bucks for it, which is pretty good considering how Amazon had them for, I think I saw it from two to 450 bucks last time I left on Amazon. Anyway, what is it? These are called a handheld body fat analyzer. Again, it's a great tool. It's not 100% accurate, but it's a great tool to gauge your body fat. If you want to know if you're holding water weight, if you want to know if you got how much fat you got, this will tell you. And these, if I remember, also it will also say give you the BMI, which I don't pay attention to the BMI on it. I just pay attention to the body fat. It'll tell you how many pounds of fat you have. And it will tell you the body fat percentage of it that is fat. With a little disclaimer, if you have a pacemaker or any type of electronic implant, I wouldn't use this because from what I've heard, the little electronic pulse that sends, sends through your body may interfere with that, which I have a brain injury. I've used these things for 20 years and my scale and I've had no problem with it I mean it's, it's not it's, it doesn't even feel like stack electricity so you don't feel anything you just watch watch the screen and that's the only way I know that that it's doing anything by watching the screen I can't feel nothing so if you're worried about getting shocked don't worry about you not getting shocked but it may interfere with electronic implants so Check with the doctor about it before you do that. Again, that's what I have for you this month. I hope you enjoyed. Hit the like button and leave a comment at the end. And I will see y'all soon with another unboxing video. Happy Easter week. I hope you had a happy Easter weekend. And come back daily for my no-brainers. If you haven't been checking out my no-brainers, I, I try to post a one-minute no-brainer on my YouTube channel every day. Now, last week I did a Holy Week theme for each day. I had a woman at no-brainer about a specific day from Holy Week. So, what I may do is I'm going to do a little infographic for what body fat may be or should be for age and sex. And I'll try to include it in this video. So, check it out and leave a comment. Bye, everybody.